everyone, my name is Boyd and I'm back with some more Age Mythology, the Titans action, and Kilty telling me I've done the wrong thing. I've told the players wrong. Feels bad, feels bad. Okay, so, spawning at the bottom of the map, in the teal color. Play his set, his name is I Am Magic. Not me, but he is. His partner today in the green color playing is Thor. It's Keen Flame. And together they are the team Hypmitly. Hypmitly. We'll leave that up to you to work out what that stands for because I can't remember to be honest. <laughs> On the other side of the map is the red color playing its set. It's, uh, it's Dodd's Apple. And we also have Grand Monster playing as Thor in the blue color. The map's Anatolia. Obviously Grand Monster and, and Apple make Grand Apple, right? I guess it could have been a Monster Apple. Or Apple Monster. But we've got Grand Apple. And we have the fishing ships started. The second dock on its way. Magic's got to love seeing a uh, set here for himself on Anatolia. It can be a really uh, dicey situation for, um, for Thor players or Norse players to, to be in when they have to deal with this. But we do see that Grand Monster has found the hyena. He's killed it off, but he's greeted by a boar. And as we know from the campaign... The boars are too fierce. And look at him go. Chasing him away. And the old Sark just has no idea what's going on. <laughs> Run for the tower. Indeed. Run for the tower. Uh, okay. So we've got, we've got Flame with Thor as well. So two Thors in this game versus Set. It's a, basically an exact mirror matchup. Considering this is a random Civ tournament. Chances of this happening is pretty low. So... This is all going to come down to the skills that these players can put on. Uh, and we do see nothing too extreme here. Flame sharing an ox guard, so a little bit lucky with his ball placement. Um, I prefer to see him take the ox cart closer to the villagers on wood and have the drop, uh, have the villagers walk a bit further on the boars. Just because you need to have, it's just better to have the more villagers on wood gathering a bit faster, but it's not that important. And Magic's just got a bunch of goat here. He could send back to his base, but he's happy to just continue as if nothing's wrong. I'm interested to see what his strategy is here. Magic's like an insanely good strategist in this game, which is why he's uh, his name is about uh, in the conversation for the best Asian mythology players of all time. Uh, and he just comes up with some really cool stuff. And, and generally speaking, he doesn't ever do a strategy which doesn't work. like Or, or just it gets completely shut down. Like Players have to really outplay him to beat him. He never like just loses because of his strategy. So I'm interested to see what he comes up with. And on top of that... Keem Flame, if you don't know who Keem Flame is, he, he has a YouTube channel and he does some commentary as well. So do go over and check him out. I don't think he's done any in recent in recent um, years, but he definitely has a has a unique style and very entertaining videos to say the least. So if you're starved for Age of Mythology content, definitely head over to his channel. But Keem Flame's got some really interesting ideas as well for his uh for his strategies. So um, we'll see what he can come up with as his ox card is chilling in the middle of the map here for some reason. I think he clicked it over, but it didn't quite go. And he'll sort that out. Winning. But both the Norses are up against the Egyptians on the water. So this will be an interesting state of affairs. Nice houses from magic to protect this dock. If uh, Grand Monster decides he wants to build a bunch of Hursa and go for it, it's going to be a little bit... A little bit difficult for him to get onto it. Magic walking bastard, some wolves. Just looking to make sure he's stopping docks from coming up. But Grand Monster's already got his three docks up. And he's going to start spamming those archer ships fairly soon. Five villages on gold here. 
This is a King Flames 6. And if we check out their gold distribution, Flames floating a bit of gold. And oops, and Grand Monster. He's got a lot of gold in the bank for some reason. But he can get an instant um, Persina, which against Egyptian on this map is probably a good idea. And you can see the Magic's managed to pump out so many fishing ship here. He's got 20 and he's making more. Oh, he's actually canceled. There he goes, making more. So 21 fishing ship. Absolutely insane. As opposed to Grand Monster, who's probably sitting at like, what? 16 fishing ships are so fairly good. There is the shifting sands coming in from Apple. Going to be forcing flame back into the tower. Apple going to be doing that one. And the shifting sands from magic into his town center. Going to pick off every single one of these. He's got his own priest over here trying to convert the ball. That's going to take way too long. The way you going to pick off all of that. And now Apple is just simply just behind. And what did we say? Magic completely on top of that. I uh, knew that he should not go for the Shifting Sands play himself and instead just use that one to slow Apple down. And now Apple's going to be hurting a little bit. He didn't really spend anything on that attack though, beyond the Wadget. Uh, I was a free priest and it was his free animals. So it's basically just getting the Shifting Sands off the table. We do see a Ursa coming in to clean up this Wadget as well. And the archer ships are now flooding in. Grand Monster's got eight longboats. So the eight cabinets of magic, but magic does have docks to fall back on. Meanwhile, Apple getting a little bit out of position, a little bit overzealous here, trying to push into Keen Flame, but Flame just is uh, taking his time. He's moving forward, ready to fight. There's, there's really not that many fishing ships up here for, for Apple. He's only got 15. And there's a little bit more up here that he could be grabbing and he's he's not he's got a fishing ship in here but could be gathering the food there or something like that now the longboat with the micro moving in really nice micro from grand monster magic to take down these low hp ships as best as you can oh he actually misclicks there that's super unfortunate and he's going to be trying to retreat micro here which is not something you want to be doing in the cabinet versus longboat battle because you're coming in with seven damage with less speed uh and uh, and it's just a little bit harder to maneuver around there but we are going to be seeing it working a little bit here and even with those misclicks uh grand monster still winning these fights quite handedly We'll see if that continues. Nice little fight here from Magic. He's got a beautiful concave onto these low HP longboats. There's quite a few low HP ones here. Uh, and I don't think I've seen... Well, I don't know where the Valkyrie went for Grand Monster, but he's moving in now. We see the vision into uh, Grand Monster's base, but there's nothing he can really do with it. Just showing Magic where he wants to move. We've got the... Forest fire coming in, so a nice combination there. Going to be forcing uh, the or slowing down the boat production of uh, Grand Monster while Magic is sort of struggling to defend here. And these villagers going to have to make a, a slow walk over here because they're getting slowed down by the ox cart. You don't want to move the villagers. Uh, he does fix that one up there, but uh, if you want to move your villagers with an ox cart, you click the villagers, you click everyone, and then you click right click and then you click onto the location you want to be going to uh, and that's kind of the the situation there and the flames units are just uh, causing a bit of a use to me I'm pretty sure he just wins this and he can cause so much damage he's forcing out the Hursa from Grand Monster so he's going to be fine throwing down a longhouse as well the longboat's still fighting here and magic's still able to defend Fend-ish? It's kind of hard for him. He's, he's a lot of low HP longboats here. Most of them are falling. He's got three really low HP longboats, a couple of other ones as well. And Grand Monster going to have to retreat now as Magic is on the offensive while he's getting harassed over here. Picking off the villagers left, right, and center. The Herso are here to pick off that Valkyrie as, he's, as she's running away. The Herso over here are three on one onto Hogni Skybane. But he's going to be able to get a kill while the other one's chilling in the forest. They're not being able to move. 
and he does get away with three HP. The Valkyrie almost getting picked off as Apple has managed to clean out Flames Fish here. It's a really big win for Grand Apple, for Team Grand Apple getting that top fish. There's still some longboats getting queued up in here. But Magic going to be pushing forward here. He should be able to win this. Well, actually, I have no idea. It looks like Grand Monster is probably able to win this location. We've got some forward. Longhouse is now coming in for Flame. But Apple has gone to the Heroic Age through Nephthys, as has Magic now. But Magic going to be able to start mixing in uh, some of those. Or probably stop making cabinets. Get out um, heavy arches. He's also going to get his purse sent out. Get out his heavy archer ship and then start making ballast the ship if he wants to keep fighting here. But we'll see if that's the case. He's chucking up a forward Mikdol stronghold. Moving forward with this army is a really good idea with that Leviathan to tank. Eight, uh, he's got 60% pierce armor. We coupled with 1,000 HP. So he tanks a lot, of, a lot of shots and he also does 25 damage per second, which is absolutely gigantic when you compare it to the other units on the sea. But now... Axemen making their way over here. This is a little bit dangerous if you ask him. He's got a, there's a lot of infantry here, but these Axemen are going to get cleaned up by those um, raiding cavalry. And we do see the Axemen running away, but they're going to be running straight into Magic's army of animals. The Scorpion now, the Wadget as well, which is going to clean this up. But Magic not paying attention, walks straight past. And these Axemen are probably going to escape with their lives right now, which is fairly big there for Apple. Not having to rebuild those is going to be huge. Now moving forward, preventing this town center for Keen Flame. And the Scorpion Man getting really close to dying, but he's managed to stay alive as this Hursa does fall. Going to be moving on to this town center. And that's going to be a really big win for Apple. He's just going to be able to grab this one. And if he grabs this town center, there's no gold mines for Keen Flame to grab. He's only got 2,500 gold left in this. He's just about ran out of fish, or he has run out of economy on that water. Dodd Apple has got his Salt M4 coming out, so he's going to have so much food. And the big issue for him right now is going to be this push that Magic is putting on to Grand Monster. Uh, we'll see if he can manage to survive here without losing too many villagers. But Flame and Magic are basically going all in right now onto Grand Monster. And he's got two town centers up there. He's spamming out the units. Uh, King, um, sorry, Dodd Apple grabbing his town centers. He's realizing he needs to come over here. Ancestors has gone down here. So he's going to be able to pick off maybe the siege tower and try and pick off these war often as well. It's really important to kill off those big siege units so you don't lose too much. A market now coming down for Grand Monster. I think he's got access to a... Um, uh, he's got access to... I can't see... Uh, he's got access to a frost. I think he went through Scotty. I'm not 100% sure what he's done there. Yeah, I can't tell what he went through. He, he probably went through Scotty. Um, and we do see that the villagers trying to get this town center up have been thwarted. Dodd Apple just preventing the town center grab game uh, from both Magic and Flame here. And he's probably going to be able to keep pushing in here and prevent this from ever being grabbed. While Grand Monster just has to survive here, potentially just get Mythic Age as well. Probably not even through Balder at this point, just go through Tyr, and then you slow down the economy even more and just let your uh, Egyptian partner just go out of control this game with four town centers plus fish economy. Meanwhile, while this is all going on, Magic still has his fish, but so does Grand Monster. So he's got he's gonna have a lot of food economy coming in. The big issue right now is gonna be can uh, Apple defend against this. We do see the frost coming down. Uh, we're gonna be seeing a hillfall going down in the back. There is still a ancestors for magic, so the frost is down. But there's gonna be priest. Oh, there's only two priests here, and there's no funeral rites. So it's going to be an Ancestors plus all of this army. But during this frost, you want to be attacking these units. While they only take one damage per hit, uh, they will be... They will die fairly fast. Uh, so it's important to get on top of them and, and try and deal as much damage as you can while the frost is on. But we've got the hill fall coming in. We've got Huskulls popping out. Not making Yarls though. Probably would have thought that Yarls would be the way to go just to deal with... Um, what is incoming with the Ancestors. And Ancestors is popping up. Heavy infantry coming out. Flame retreating back. 
turning around and deciding he wants to keep fighting in this location. Now, Siege Towers are out for Apple. He can start making a move down. He just has to send in like his Pharaoh maybe and, and a couple of um, Chariot Archers and he can pick off all those villages and keep moving forward. Now, Magic continuing on this conquest. He's got two Siege Towers here. He's got this Town Center up. So now Magic's three Town Centers. Going on four Town Centers really soon. Has four Town Centers now. Magic taking down the market as well, stopping the trade. And this Ancestors is completely cleaning up most of what Grand Monsters got. But now Apple is on the conquest path. He's got three Siege Towers. He's gonna to be making his way into Keen Flame's base. Keen Flame only got 1,800 gold left. He's already moved over onto this gold mine that Magic has on the bottom of the map. These Siege Towers are staying alive right now, but just about to fall. The throwing Axemen deal hack damage. So the 5% hack down armor, not the best against these ranged units, which will be able to clean them up. But the Town Center will be falling as four or five Town Centers is coming in. Mason's not gonna come in clutch just this, this time here. And it's gonna be a Town Center down. Flame still pushing through here, but the, uh, the Siege Towers are making their way in. And the villagers have to fight back. King Flamer has to somehow stay alive here while, uh, while Hoopmitly, Team Hoopmitly, pick off Grand Monster. Now, Grand Monster is going to be struggling for gold right now. He's making his way over onto this gold mine, and Keen Flame has spotted it. He's already got the Valkyrie out. He's got a bunch of these raiding cavalry in here. He's going to be going after these villagers, and he will hit them. They may have to run into the town center, run over onto this gold mine. Wouldn't be a bad idea to just go after the ox carts at this point, because they'll be completely useless over there without ox carts. Uh, and there's only one ox cart here as well. And he has noticed that. So King Flame going after the ox carts now. And I think that Grand Monster has also noticed that he's trying to run this ox cart away. He's managing to get away from that army there. So he will have the ox cart potentially available to jump into those villages there for the gold income. So the big question right here is going to be can Apple pick off King Flame before Magic picks off Grand Monster. And then beyond that, can Magic boom hard enough to catch up to Apple here? Uh, and that's the big question. Uh, so we'll see who wins on that front. We've got the Town Center coming back up now for Grand Monster though. There is this Frost Giant that's getting immediately picked off. Uh, Magic doesn't have any, or well, he does have a barracks up, so he will be able to make some Axemen. But these Heavy Huskull, they are beastly units when compared to the Chariot Archer. These Huskull will completely make mincemeat of these guys, but he does have to fight. Nice Siege Tower getting on top of that Town Center, going to be slowing it down yet again. But now that the army is starting to fight uh, Magic's army here, it's going to be a difficult time for them. And the Town Center does die the immediate villagers onto that settlement there for apple and we're trying to get that one up instantly and the siege tower is taking down the watchtower over here and they'll be making their way over onto this town center trying to throw down as many watchtowers as he can but he needs infantry in this location here which he does not have and the walls are up for King Flame. He can make some raids onto this if he wants to. He just has to kill off that ox guy. That's all he has to do. Send one unit in there to pick it off. He's doing it. He's got the uh, the raiding cavalry that's going to... Oh, he's not paying attention. Kill off the ox guy. But Town Center back up right now for Grand Monster. And Magic... He is trying as hard as he can to take this down. It's almost like he needs to get Mythic Age here. He's getting fortified town centers, so no mythic age. Oh, there it is. There is the Horus coming in for magic. Magic needs this in order to keep pushing. Uh, he also needs to transition away from chariot archers into mass axemen. And you can see that he's getting out medium axemen now, so he's trying to make that happen. But it's just looking like Grand Monster is going to be able to start pushing back of his own accord right now. But the ox cart finally gets picked off. Flame picks that one off. And now the villagers over here will have no method of gathering gold left for them. But there is these, or there are these ox caravan that are already going, picking up 142 gold per second. Uh, and that's absolutely huge. You do kind of need to get the, uh, 
the Ox Caravan upgrade to make them useful. Uh, another Town Center falling for Flame, and Apple is just absolutely insane right now, taking down these Longhouses, pushing Flame over into Magic's base, and Magic is going to have to do something magical as this, as this game is continuing. It's going to be a four town center magic versus a seven town center or a four town center equipment lead versus a uh, eight town center grand apple. And while this is all going down, magic is a losing his, uh, his Migdol stronghold somehow. Not able to hold on, even with all of that gigantic pressure that they were putting on. And now the villagers getting pulled off the line. There aren't that many uh, units here to pick off these um, Egyptian laborers, or these set laborers. And the tornado comes down into the base of Grand Monster. Picking off some houses, picking off the, the hill fort. Going after the town center now, also picking off some ox caravans. And the town center should be falling. It's going to be really close, to be honest. Actually, the tornado decides to stop doing anything. But Apple hitting the Mythic Edge through Thoth instead of the uh, instead of going through the standard Horus here. He's probably got quite a bit of favor in the bank. He's looking to grab out um, the Thoth Tusk, the Tusk of uh, App. What's it called? Uh, I have no idea. I would like to know what it's called though. Tusks of Apademak. Tusks of Epidemic. So those are going to be really difficult to deal with. But if Magic can somehow stabilize here, prevent himself from being pushed by Grand Monster, who now has to transition into a raiding cavalry, and we see the wonder for Magic dealing with the uh, the the meteor onto his town center. This is a desperation play if I've ever seen one. And Grand Monster says it's Conquest with a tongue poking out. And Flame taps out, Magic taps out. GG. Well played by Apple and Grand Monster. Really nice defense by Grand Monster. They managed to stay alive for as long as he possibly could. Uh, and incredibly strong play by Apple, just completely mowing down Flame there. Uh, but that's, uh, that's the first game there, so well played. We've got a uh, win for Grand Apple, and we'll move on to game number two really shortly. Thank you all for hanging out with me, and we'll get that next game going really soon.